Good morning, friends. Welcome to Kids Spot. I'm so glad you joined me today. We are going to celebrate a very special Sunday. It's Celebration Sunday, Sea Life's seventh birthday. That's right. Community Life Church is seven whole years old. Wow, how amazing. Can you guys think of a place in the Bible where it mentions the number seven? I thought of one, creation. In the book of Genesis, we see that God created the world in seven days. He created things like animals and plants out of dust. And he also created his most prized possession, you and me, humans. How cool is that? We're gonna celebrate together a little more in a minute. But first, let's check out this video by Saddleback Kids, all about creation. Stories of the Bible. Creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was empty, formless, and dark. But the Spirit of God was there. On the first day, God said, Let there be light. And God saw that the light was good. Then He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. On the second day, God said, let there be a space to separate the waters of the heavens from the waters of the earth. God called the space sky. On the third day, God said, Let the waters beneath the sky flow together into one place so dry ground may appear. God called the dry ground land and the waters seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land sprout with every sort of plant and tree. And God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God said, Let lights appear in the sky to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the sun for the day and the moon for the night. He also made the stars. God set these lights in the sky to light the earth and God saw that it was good. On the fifth day, God said, let the waters swarm with fish and other life. Let the skies be filled with birds of every kind, and God saw that it was good. On the sixth day, God said, let the earth make every sort of animal, God made all sorts of wild animals, livestock and small animals, each able to have babies of the same kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image to be like us. So God created man in his own image. He formed man from the dust of the ground. He breathed the breath of life into man and a man became alive. Then he saw that the man needed a helper, so God put man into a deep sleep. And while he slept, God took one of the man's ribs. Then God made a woman from the rib and brought her to the man. Hello. Hi. Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and rule over it. Rule over the fish in the sea. Hello, man. The birds in the sky. Hello, bird and all the animals that scurry along the ground. <laughs> then God said, Look, I have given you every plant throughout the earth and all the fruit trees for your food, and I have given you every green plant as food for all the animals. Then God looked over all he had made, and he saw that it was very good. So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was done. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work, and God blessed the seventh day and said it was holy. Go. Happy birthday, Sila!